good day to all so let us see a problem on gear trains myself sindhil from kung engineering college the problem is an epicyclic gear consists of three gears a b and c as shown in the figure the gear a has 72 internal teeth and gear c has 32 external teeth the gear b measures with both a and c and is carried on an arm ef which rotates about the center of a at 18 rpm if gear a is fixed determine the speed of gears b and c so solution so the number of teeth on a and number of teeth on gear c is given and speed of the arm is given so let us go by table of motions so the table of motions involves three steps and the condition of motion and also upon which these revolution of elements each elements will vary it has to be calculated so in step 1 we are fixing the arm ef and gear c is rotated through plus 1 revolution that is an anti clockwise direction so since arm is uh, fixed so the arm ef has zero revolution okay and for gear c since for gear c so in gear c we are giving an input uh, motion of plus 1 revolution in anti clockwise direction so the gear c will be having plus 1 revolution so now to calculate the speed of gear b so when i'm talking about gear b the gear c will be the driving one okay and gear b will be the driven so in order to calculate the revolution on gear b let us first look on to the basic relationship between the driver and the driven so the speed of driver and the speed of driven is equal to number of teeth on driven divided by number of teeth on driver so here driver is nothing but your gear c so the now speed of driver that is c divided by speed of driven b is equal to number of teeth on uh, driven b that is tb divided by tc so from this equation we can we need to get the nb that is revolution of element b so nb is equal to nc into tc here the minus sign is given since your gear b will be rotating in clockwise direction so since c is rotating in anti clockwise direction so the uh, adjacent uh, gear b will be rotating in the opposite direction to that of c so that is clockwise direction so we already know the value of uh, nc is equal to 1 so substituting it will be getting your nb as that is uh, revolution of gear b as minus tc into tb so similarly to get the cal to get the revolution on gear a so when you are talking about gear a gear b will be the driving one and gear a will be the driven so we can get the relationship like this so na is equal to nb into tb by ta so for nb we already have the value and just substituting it will be getting the value as minus tc by ta okay so here since you seeing the why here there is no negative sign means so here it is here gear b is rotating in anti clockwise that is clockwise direction and gear a will be rotating in clock anti clockwise direction okay so now we can substitute the value of gear as minus tc into ta so for a step number 2 so here again the arm is fixed and gear c rotates through plus x revolution so the revolution of element for the step 2 that is arm f as it is fixed here again so it will be zero and for gear c it will be into x so just multiply the x value on all these gears so for one revolution if it is this much uh, value means so for x revolution will be a simply multiplication of this x with the corresponding single revolution so there will be minus x into tc by tb again minus x into tc by t so the third step is add plus y revolutions to all the elements so simply add plus y revolutions to all the elements so for arm ef gear c gear b and gear a i am adding just plus y revolution okay so the final step is the total motion this total motion is obtained by adding the step number 2 and step number 3 of your corresponding uh, respective elements so here it is 0 plus y plus y and uh, so the the symbol here is very very important so please don't neglect the symbol so it determines the direction of revolution 
okay and here it is x plus y and again here is y minus x into tc by tv and again here would be y minus x into tc by t okay so now this gives the total summary of your motions involved in each and every element okay so now let's start solving for the that is is required to be fine so this is the given and the to find is the speed of gear b and c okay so look at here so for finding gear b and c so here if you want to uh, calculate the value of gear c you need to know what is the value of x and y similarly for your gear b you need to know uh, again you have to know the values of x y tc is already given to you and you need to find tb okay and here again you have tc and ta so using these equations we have to decode the values of x and y and again you have to find the total revolution okay so now first let us see what is the speed of gear c so we know that the speed of arm ef is 18 rpm so we can directly take the equate this y equal to 18 rpm okay right then also in question they are given that gear a is fixed so if gear a is fixed means the total motion here will be equal to zero fixed means there is no revolution so gear a is fixed so that we can equate this n a as like this equal to zero and from this equation we already have the value of y and we know the values of tc and ta which is already given in the question so from this we can calculate the values of x so this is x is equal to 40.5 so now the total speed of gc so here we have found the values of x and y so we can get the values of x and y substitute it and we can find the total speed of gc so here your uh, speed of gc is plus 48.5 rpm it means what 48.5 rpm in the anti clockwise direction so similarly the speed of gear b so for finding the speed of gear b this is the equation so in this equation we know what is x we know what is y and also we have uh, the value of tc is given to us so we have to find the value of tb so now to find the value of tb we are jumping to a simple relationship like this okay so here the total diameter of uh, the db that is the diameter of b plus the radius of this c that is that is the gear c will be equal to the radius of the a okay so that is the relationship given here so the total diameter of uh, b plus radius of c is equal to the radius of a so we can uh, write this equation in this manner 2db plus 2c uh, plus dc is equal to ta so and here i am equating this d this is a pitch circle diameter as they are proportionate to the number of teeth i can write this equation in terms of number of teeth like this so from this equation we know what is tc and ta so we can easily calculate what is tb so after calculating tb substitute the tb value in this equation and find the value that will be your speed of gear b that is minus 46.8 rpm so that is your 46.8 rpm in clockwise direction so this is negative sign okay so that is how we have found the speeds of gear c and gear b for the given epicyclic gear system right